Hi guys, my name's Andy and in this series of five videos I'm covering how beginner guitarists can improve their guitar playing from knowing the basic open chords, you've already had a go at learning a few songs with possibly mixed results and we're going to show you the common things that is going to get you sounding great. In this first video we're going to cover the absolute most common strumming pattern that's used in any strumming guitar songs. Now this is appropriate for faster and medium tempo songs and in the second video we're going to cover a strumming pattern that's appropriate for slower songs. But in this first one we're going to go for the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down. It's got a cool groove to it, it works faster as well. And this strumming is based on eighths down and up strumming to a count of one and two and three and four and. So if you've never come across doing up strums before, a really cool idea is just to have a go at, if you've played songs on the beat before, you'll want to have a go at doing that same strumming pattern on the beat but just with up strums, just to get used to doing these ups. And then from there we want to get used to doing downs and ups but to a count of one and two and three and four and to be able to do the strumming pattern. One and two and three and four and. And after that when we're doing a down and up strumming motion we're going to do some ghost strums, we're going to do some false strums, we're going to miss out not and not catch some of the strings but we are going to always keep that hand movement going the same fashion as one and two and three and four and this tends to be what people kind of miss out when when beginners are learning even under instruction the right hand tends to go one down up and it stops okay we want to prevent that stopping and keep your hand motion always the same to be able to do this strumming pattern here. So the next strumming pattern that we're going to go for to be able to get us to that level if you haven't got it already is um, we're going to do down, down, up, down, up, down. Now here I'm only missing out the up strum so this is far easier than the one we're going to go for in the end which is missing a, a down strum. That's why that, that strumming pattern sounds so cool, so cool. But it's also kind of hard as well. So we're going to go for one, two, and three, and four. 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 Down, down, up, down, up, down. Keeping the right hand swinging. One more time and pausing there, that's just one level below this one. Now this one is likely one that most of you guys can do if you've been playing for you know a number of weeks and you're having a go. If that's far too easy for you then we're going to go for this harder one anyway but make sure you've got that one first. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down if this last one is one that you're struggling with. Make sure you come back to that one and make sure you get it. I've got to keep these videos short so I'm just warning you. Um, but the strumming pattern we're wanting to get in this video is down, 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 up, up, down. We've got two up strums in a row and therefore we're not playing on beat three. Sounds cool but it's tricky to physically do. So just a couple more demonstrations nice and slow. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. And we can see clearly there's one that I'm hovering right away from the strings for. There's one strum that I'm going right out. You don't need to miss it by that much, that's just as a demonstration. Do I have a bit more of a look at that? Let's get in for a close-up. Okay, now let's go for broke. We're going to go for the most common strumming pattern ever, which is down, down, up, up, down. 
which has this loop on beat three. One, two, and, and four. You don't have to do the loop as big as I'm demonstrating this video. You want to do it as subtle as you can. I'm just doing it for demonstration. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. And what I'm doing here is just putting my fingers against the strings, but not on the fretboard. If press down to the fretboard, it sounds like this. It sounds terrible. What we want to do is just make sure that we're getting this thud sound so we can hear what your strumming pattern, your strumming pattern is doing. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Quite a bit slower. Two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down. 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 Remember, this strumming hand motion is the same as if I'm going one and two and three and four and. It's always going down and up. There's no pause where I go down, up, and then pause up here. Never happens. One and two and three and four becomes down, down, up, up, down. It looks exactly the same. I'm always just doing and two and three and four. Think about it like a conductor standing in front of an orchestra. If he keeps moving his hands, there is music. If the conductor stopped his hands, there is no music. And that's not what we want. Everything would stop. We don't want the strumming pattern to stop with this particular pattern, we want down, down, up, up, down with a little loop. And then we do that on our G chord. One, two, and three, and four. Down, 